My name is Krista Whitley and I'm the founder of CBD Caring. And every day we are helping people to live their best lives using CBD and natural plant wellness. You know, right now we are in such crazy times for the world and certainly as an entrepreneur and a single mom with two daughters, it has been a crazy time. So, you know, what has been really helpful for my family and for my business and my team has been to create new routines. And that has been fundamental to keeping a sense of sanity and calm amidst the chaos. So for us, you know, it's about having really set routines. Monday through Friday, we're still waking up. We're still getting ready for the day. We're still having our weekends and treating them like weekends. And, you know, really adjusting to what I think is going to be the new normal in the world. Um, so certainly, you know, my daughters miss their friends, but now we're intentionally being very conscious about making sure that they have friend time via Zoom and Google Hangouts. And, you know, with my team, it's really been a matter of still feeling connected and united, even though we're doing all of our meetings via Zoom and, you know, contributing in new ways. So that has been really fundamental. And, you know, I think it was very tempting in those first few days of this crazy quarantine time to just sit there and binge Netflix. That certainly was not an option for me. Um, as an entrepreneur. And so, you know, I'm still getting up at five o'clock in the morning and I'm still getting my girls up and ready and getting them ready for their school lessons for the day and incorporating that into obviously running a business from home. And so if anything, multitasking and efficiency and making sure that I'm getting a good eight hours of sleep every night has been fundamentally important to making sure that you know, we're really staying on track and that we will end up out of this crazy time, better people, a stronger team, and just a more cohesive business. You know, some of the challenges that we are currently facing as a business are transitioning from being a global brand that I had a travel schedule where I was going to be in Japan and Europe and South America and throughout the United States over 26 weeks throughout 2020. And very quickly that became completely rescheduled, delayed, canceled. All of those trade shows, all those conventions, speaking engagements have all completely modified. And so it's been a transition from what was a very well thought through strategy and plan for 2020 to really tapping into our nimble entrepreneurial instincts and doing the best we can and controlling what we can every single day. Um, so, you know, I, my, some of the challenges I'm facing today are, you know, how do we compensate for the millions of dollars in sales that our organization would have experienced through trade shows and conventions? And how do we translate that through digital? And how do we really readjust um, our entire strategy, not just through 2020, but of course, going into 2021? Um, and how do you respond to the best of your ability in entirely unknown circumstances? No one, no one has answers. No one has a magic date or you know, crystal ball. And so I'm, I'm so thankful that our organization started with me as a single mom on my couch over five years ago. Um, and I've had to really tap into a lot of those skills, being lean, just making the best decision you possibly can. Um, and, you know, frankly, just continuing that plucky, permanent optimism, that spirit, that tenacity that every entrepreneur with a crazy idea sitting on their couch out there probably has. Um, and I think that's the best that we can do. You know, I, I see the mentors and the leaders throughout every industry in the world that I admire and respect who are doing the same thing. Um, and I think a lot of this has really brought out the humanity um, inside not just our consumers, but of course in the leaders in every industry throughout the world. You know, my greatest advice for every small business entrepreneur, every small business owner, florist, restaurateur, 
um, you know, crafter at home on Etsy um, for everyone running the entire scope is um, to do the best you can with what you have. And I think, you know, we have seen so many epic tales of entrepreneurism throughout American history and throughout just the history of innovation and entrepreneurs around the world that I have complete faith um, that if we continue to do the best we can with what we have, we will come out of this stronger, more nimble organizations, savvier, wiser leaders. Um, I think that's just, that's what you can do. I have really admired the small business owners. I have a dear friend who's a fellow single mom and her tiny 700 square foot restaurant has continued donating one meal for every meal that is purchased. And I think it's the people who really are staying the course with the right heart and the right values that are leaders among leaders. And so for us, you know, it's been very critically important that we continue long after it's trending um, to support our community and to do everything that we possibly can with the resources that we have. I have seen more generosity of spirit throughout the entrepreneurial community worldwide than I could have ever dreamed imaginable. Um, I think, you know, again, good people always do great things. Um, and the spirit of community and coming together um, certainly is rising ahead of the divisiveness and the frustration and, you know, some of the other negative feelings that are out there in the world right now. Thank you everybody for watching my episode on Design Hill. You can follow me on social Krista and I'd love to hear from you. Keep watching, keep learning and go get your entrepreneurial dreams. Make that magic happen.